Welcome to Oceans Unlimited. This is going to be a quick concept video where we outline the two international lateral aid systems. That's the IALAA and the IALAB. Now the IALA is another fancy acronym that represents a governing body. In this case, it's the International Association of Lighthouse Authorities. Very authoritative sounding, very important sounding. Well, the important part is really just the A and the B. These are the two different lateral aid systems that apply to different countries and continents worldwide. A lateral aid is a light, buoy, or day mark that defines the left or right boundary of a channel. Now, this is designed with commercial traffic in mind, and it's so that the deep draft vessels can operate in safe water as they're either entering or exiting a harbor. Now each lateral aid can be taken individually. You can remove it from the entire context of any other aids around it. And that individual marking by itself is gonna tell you whether it's marking the left or the right side of the channel. How does it do it? Well, it has a color. It's gonna be either green or red and this applies to both the paint and any light. If it's a lighted aid, if there's a light that shines or flashes at night, that color is gonna match. It's gonna be either red or green. You have a shape. There's gonna be either a pointy top or a triangular shape to mark the top of this aid, or there's gonna be a more of a flat top or a square shape to it. There's gonna be a number. There's gonna be even or odd numbers and that's going to be matched to colors. So red, buoys, or aids, or lights are gonna have even numbers, and green ones are always gonna have odd numbers. And then the most important thing of all is the direction of travel. So depending on whether you're headed outbound to sea or inbound to harbor, where you're gonna moor up, the meanings of each individual lateral aid are gonna reverse. Just swap. So with that in mind, let's take a look at System B. That's our home team system here in the United States. We're going to demonstrate this by looking at Mobile Bay, which is a good example because it has a well-defined entrance channel, a lot of markings, and it starts at a sea buoy. Now the best way to avoid confusion when we get going on our entrance here is to focus on just the starboard or the right side of your vessel. There's an implied understanding that you're gonna to cheat to the right side. If you're gonna pass an oncoming vessel in a channel, you're gonna be favoring the right side of the channel. Imagining that we're inbound from seaward, entering Mobile Bay, red is on the right side, and that's where we get the popular phrase, red right return. If you can remember that, you can remember ILA System B. That's it. That's the, the easiest way to get it. Everything on the right side of the channel is going to be red buoys, red lights, red right. Easy. In addition to our color red, you're going to have a shape theme, which is conical or triangular. Lights, day markings, the top of buoys themselves, uh, they're called nuns or conical buoys. That's based on, I guess, the, the pointed hats that nuns wear, I'm, I'm assuming. But they're going to be a, a pyramidal or a conical shape with a point on the top. And then you're going to see the numbers ascend from 2. They're going to be even numbers, and they're going to ascend from 2 as you progress further inland. Let's take a look and turn around and define the outbound situation. So now you're headed to C, and we're going to look at the right side again. So the right side in an outbound situation in system B, you're going to see the color green. You can have green buoys, green lights, and green day marks. For shape, you're going to see flat tops. So this is going to be a cylinder shape for buoys. The buoys are known as cans. Um, they're square day shapes. So anything that has, instead of a point, it's going to come to a nice flat top. Numbering on the right side is going to be decreasing and the numbers are going to be odd. So as you get to the last gate, and that's a pair of buoys, it's called a gate. As you get to the final gate on the right side, your green buoy is going to be buoy number one, descending. 
That's going to be the two sides of the System B coin. System B is found in the Americas, whereas most other continents and countries use System A. That includes Europe, Africa, most of Asia, and most of the Pacific. While we're at it, let's go over an easy memory device so that you can remember which countries and which areas use A versus B. So the easy way to remember it, I find, is that the Americas, that's North, South America, Canada, and their Asian allies, that's Korea, Japan, and the Philippines, all happen to be on system B. The opposite is true for just about everywhere else. We're going to take a look at Ranganu Bay in New Zealand. That's either Ranganu or Ranganu Bay. This is going to show a demonstration of how System A's lateral markings are different. And the differences are subtle, but it's important nevertheless. We're going to have a nice contrast because instead of the well-defined buoy channel that was established in Mobile Bay, this is going to be a less defined natural river delta situation. So the channel is going to be naturally created and you're going to see fixed lights for the most part, instead of buoys. And there's no sea buoy. So let's take a look at the inbound from seaward. On the right side, we now have green lights and buoys. And notice too that in this case, we're marking a more extreme right edge where we run into land, islands, or shallows instead of a linear channel. Right-hand shapes haven't changed. They're still pointy, conical, triangular. The nuns are still on the right side. Now a note on numbering, not every lateral aid, in this case we have a lot of lights that have names that don't include a number. Not every lateral aid it has a number that's readily apparent in the naming of a light. However, occasionally we will have a system that combines named lights and lateral marks with numbered lights and lateral marks. And you're gonna see this when we turn around and head outbound, looking at the red side. On our outbound trip seaward, we see that our right-hand side is now red in color. We have our square shape theme applying here. So square and cylinder can shapes, that applies to the right-hand side outbound. And okay, what we were talking about with the numbering, here we can see two aids that have even numbers and they're descending. So that pattern holds up. So to put things in summary, both systems A and B have some universal properties. When we're inbound, we have cone shapes on the right hand side and the numbering is going up, it's increasing. When we're outbound in both systems, we have cans, square shapes on the right side, and the numbering of the aids is decreasing. When we have system A inbound, green is on the right. When we have system B inbound, red is on the right. In all practicality, it's not that confusing. The trick is when you're taking an exam, Coast Guard questions, then you, you tend to get confused because you have to work things out in your head. If you're actually sailing, you're going to visually see what's going on very quickly. You can look at a chart. You don't have to remember much of this because there's going to be a whole system of lights in context. When you get into the exam, you're going to have a question that asks you something about a very specific attribute and it's gonna be isolated to one specific aid. That's when I think it helps to think about the right side, memorize the right side, and then just sketch it out, draw it out, use a diagram, whatever. There's no shame in doing that. Everyone has to do it. So these are the general guidelines for system A and system B. Hopefully this video helped to clarify things a little bit for you. In the future, we'll be looking at different types of buoys that are in common with both systems and get into a little bit more detail down the road. 
And of course, we're going to provide more content on other maritime subjects in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.